Okay, so in the beginning of this year, I, I created this very detailed tutorial on how to extract elevation data from Google Earth Pro. But I came to realize that there was something that is missing in this tutorial. And if you watched this tutorial, you can see that yes, you, we managed to get our elevation data, but sometimes we want our data not in latitude and longitude, but we want our data in UTM format. Now with this tutorial, you will be forced to use other uh, third-party software just to make sure that you convert your data from latitude and longitude into UTM format. For me, I think that is a kind of long process and it's time consuming. Now with this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to extract not only elevation, but to have your data not in latitude and longitude, but in UTM format. Okay, so this is what we are, we are going to cover today. And this is the final product that we are aiming to achieve. So as you can see here, okay, so let me zoom. As you can see here, what we are having here is the UTM Eastings and UTM Northings and Altitude. Okay, so we don't have, we don't have, we don't have, we don't have uh, Latitude and Longitude. Instead, what we are having here is UTM Eastings, Northings and the Altitude. So this is the final result that we are aiming to achieve in this tutorial. So just make sure that you watch until the end. And that being said, I'll see you in the next part of this tutorial. Okay, so let's get started. Now, this is our area of interest. Okay, so this is the Sokoene University of Agriculture and what we want to do is to create like uh, two pipelines or pipe routes. Now the first one we'll, we'll just assume that at, at this point here we have um, a source. Okay, and we want to take the water from this point here all the way to uh, this point and again to this point here. Okay, so we will have two KML files. Okay, now from here, okay, okay, so let me go back here. Here, yeah, let me go back here. Okay, so let me go back from here. Now, let me start by clicking this add path. Add path. Now, from here, we will just begin like this. So, first thing, first, make sure that you have where you are length into meters. Of course, you can opt to use even kilometers, but I prefer to use meters. And of course, the color, it's a style color. Make sure that you have a color that is visible. But for me, I'll just go with purple. And not only that, just make sure that you are. Uh, line width is at least somehow visible. I'll just go with two. By default here is one, so I'll just go with two. And from here, let me take this to this uh, area here. Now, before we proceed, let me change the name. Let me call it pipeline one. Pipeline number one. Now we, we will start digitizing. Now from here, this is our source. Just let's assume that this is our source. Now we'll start digitizing, just like this. Okay, just like this. Uh, at this point here, we have our pipeline number. Okay, so this is pipeline number one. Okay, so the total length here is uh, 341. So I'll just click OK. So as I can save. Okay, so I'll just click OK. I don't know where, where is it? Where is it going? Okay, so, so this is pipeline number one. Now let me create a pipeline number two. Again, give it a name, pipeline pipeline number two. And of course, the color purple and line widths to uh, two. And measurement uh, units, meters. Now from here, let's, let's take it from here. Assume that this is a junction. Now we start from here, then start digitizing just like this. Okay, just like this. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so around this, this point and this. Again, this I think end up this uh, point here. So this is our uh, pipeline number two. Okay, pipeline number two. Now from here, let me click save. Let me click save. Now so far we have this uh, two two K ML files. So pipeline number one and pipeline number two. Now what we, uh, what what we need to do from here is to make sure that we export this uh, these two K ML files into our local drives. Okay, so from here, let me take this and right click, then uh, then save places as. Okay, so right click, save place as. Now from here, let me open my my file, pause this one, and the, you can save it as a KMZ, but I prefer to go with KML. Just click save, and again, pipeline number two, just do the same. Now from here, let me click uh, save place as. 
of course KML then let me click save now for now I can just minimize this but it's, mm, so let me go back to my file so these are the two KML files that I have so far okay two KML files that I have so far and what I need to do from here is to make sure that at least I extract UTM coordinates okay both eastings and northings and elevation not just elevation but eastings northings and elevation okay so from here what uh, what you need to do we can use gps visualizer so from here let me click gps visualizer gps visualizer of course you can just go and google gps visualizer now this site here will appear so from here let me uh, open this and again we have so let me okay so uh, this site here will will open now from here let, just click here convert a file convert a file convert a file then right click let me open this link so this one uh, so this uh, page here will will open now what we need to do here are this very few simple step so the first step here is to make sure that we set the output format into plain text not gpx not google uh, KML, but the output format into plain text this is very important and if you have more than one KML files uh, you can even just click here and show more boxes so you can just insert here your uh, KML file but for me I only have two so I'll just maintain uh, these ones remember the maximum file size here is 10 megabytes so for total size now remember our files here for now we have only these two pipeline uh, one and pipeline two so what i need to do is to take these files here and the uh, blow and import them into uh, these uh, slots here now from here file uh, file number one i'll just click browse then from here what i need to do is go to my folder i don't remember where it, uh, desktop okay demo kml so i'll just click pipeline number one and click open so it is there now i need to add uh, file number two then i'll just click browse and select a pipeline two okay so now our two kml files so you don't need to click convert for now it's not over yet now what uh, what we need to do is before we click convert so this is the next very important step which is add them elevation data Okay, so from here what what you, uh, what we need to do is to click this then these options here will appear if you are living in uh, north america you can use this one direct but if you are living in uh, alaska you can use this one and of course if you are living in australia new zealand or any country in europe you can go with this one but if you are living out of those areas uh, i think the best thing that you can do is to click here best uh, available source so from here i'll just click best available source so if you select the best available source what a gps visualizer will do is that it will go and check your coordinates and from your coordinates it will, it will select the right them or the appropriate them according to your coordinates but for me i'll opt to go with the best available source okay best available source so i'll just click okay now let me go back down here is it over yet no not yet now what we, what we need to do is to click this show advanced options now from here if you can see we have several options but what we are interested to do is to go and find this output utm coordinates okay this again is very important output utm coordinates then i'll just select yes now just to recap before i even click convert the first important step is to set your output format into plain text and the second one you upload your kml files even if you have more than one or more than two you can just click here and show more boxes then from here you can upload them or you, or you can close from from here now the next important step is to add them elevation data and the last important step is to select here is to select the output utm coordinates and set it to yes click the advanced options then uh, make sure that you set the output utm coordinates to yes 
now we are done now i think so far so good we, we can now safely click convert so from here i'll just click convert okay so the output plain text then click convert as you can see here we have like uh two coordinates format so the, so the first one is latitude and longitude and the second one is utm east things and utm north things okay so what we need to do from here is to download this okay you can click this one download and then click save in your local disk i'll just click okay okay now just to add a little bit if you don't click here show more advanced options and set here into yes then you will not have uh, the utm uh, coordinates this is, is very important if you want the utm coordinates otherwise you will only have uh, only uh, latitude and longitude okay but our interest is to have a uh, utm so this is a very important step now from here let me go here to my file and select it let me cut and uh, paste it into my folder i just paste it here okay so this is my file as you can see we have uh, this one i think this one is for pipeline number one so these are the data and this one is pipeline number two and of course this is its data remember we have latitude longitude and again here we have these things no things okay Okay, so from here what we need to do is to take this data into excel we are not going to take them uh, one by one manually but what you, uh, what you can do let me open my excel from here let me open excel okay so this is the excel and let me go here to data then what i need to do is this to click this one from text or, CS, or csv then this this window here will appear let me find where i said so this was the folder of course go and find your the place where you saved your data okay so remember this one is in .txt okay then i'll just click import okay so you can click okay click load or you can even click next next then everything will take it from there okay so what we need to do next is to clean our data of course i think now everything is straightforward so let so what i can do from here let me select uh, this ones i don't want remember this is our altitude so we don't want this delete and of course i don't want even this one i'll just maintain the name and again and even uh, this the latitude and longitude and even the line type but if you want your coordinates in latitude and longitude of course you can maintain that but our interest now is a utm coordinates so i'll just take all of this out okay, so i'll just delete these ones i'm not interested in them so these are the coordinates that we have okay these are coordinates as you can see this is a utm a utm is things utm nothings and this is the altitude okay and this is the name so far so good that is the final result that we wanted to achieve but the most important thing that you need to keep it in mind if you don't set this into yes then you are, you are not going to have the uh, utm coordinates so before you even go if you are water engineer or civil engineer we have two approaches that we normally use to analyze hydraulic models so, so the first one is pressure dependent analysis and the other one is demand driven analysis okay so i created a very interesting tutorial that will guide you and explain to you what are these two terms mean so just make sure that you go to my channel and watch this tutorial of course it is a very important topic just go there and watch and i'll just make sure that i include the link to this tutorial either in this in the description or the first comment below so just go there and watch thank you and i'll see you in the next one